our friend Sarah and draw a raccoon. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We're gonna use markers to color with and draw with, yes. but you can use whatever you have at home, like crayons or colored pencils. Now the three colors we're gonna use are light gray, a dark gray, and a black. Yes. You ready to start? Mm -hmm. We're first gonna use our light gray marker and we're gonna draw shapes to make our, our raccoon. We're first gonna draw an oval in the middle of our paper for the shape of our raccoon's head. Yes. It's big. It's big. Yeah, I like that it's different than mine. Okay, now we're gonna draw the ears. We're first gonna draw an upside down V or kind of a U shape. We're using a lot of the same steps we used for our fox. We're gonna do the same thing for the other ear. Except on the fox, they were point more pointy. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're gonna come down here, and we're gonna draw a U shape for the body. Or the letter U. There you go. Then we're gonna draw a smaller U on the inside for the white belly. Okay, now let's also draw the tail. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out to the left, and then we're gonna come back in and there's a little point at the end. Good job, you did it. And we're almost done with our raccoon, except we're missing some important details. Like, what, what's the thing that's over their face? Their mask. Yeah, it looks like a mask. They have these kind of spots over their eyes. Let's first though, draw a an oval shape for their nose. So we'll draw it right here in the middle, but towards the bottom of the head shape. And then we can also color that in. Now we could change that to black, but let's leave it dark gray. Now let's draw their mask. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an upside down U. That's, it looks like a diagonal U. Mm -hmm. It comes up and then comes back. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here and draw the same upside down U, but going the other direction. Good job. Okay, now let's color those shapes in, these upside down U. So I'm gonna first connect right here and then color it in with our marker. Now, if we're going too fast or you need extra time for any of the steps, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. All right, we're even gonna speed this part up. So remember to pause the video and take that extra time to finish this step. Let's also add a dark spot in their ears. We're, we can draw the same shape inside of their ears, but smaller. So upside down V or a U shape. And it doesn't connect to the other side. Well, we can't. We can connect it like that when we're done. And then let's color that shape in. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw that small upside down U and then connect the bottom. See, I'm even going too fast for me. You could say, hey dad, pause, pa pause the video. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now let's also draw the details on their tail. They yeah. have little rings. So we're gonna draw two lines. We can draw them right next to each other, right here, up at the end. And we can draw two more right here. And let's draw two more down at the bottom like that. Now I'm gonna color in the tip of the tail. We'll start there first. Color it in. And then we're gonna skip, we're gonna skip this stripe and then color in. We can connect the two lines and then color this stripe in. I love your raccoon. It's turning out awesome. Then we're gonna skip another stripe and color in the next one. Oh yeah, you went all the way down. Yep, you just color in every other stripe. Now we're gonna switch back to our light gray, the same marker that we were using to draw with at the very beginning. We're gonna draw a curve in between the eyes. Then we're also gonna draw a curve that comes up like this and then connects to the U, the upside down U shape. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here and connect in. Now we're ready to color in their forehead. So this part we're gonna color 
this shape in right here, we're going to leave their snout or their nose white and the little stripes over each of the darker spots white too. Let's also color in their ears. We can color above the dark spot on the right side and also over here on the left side. Now it's really starting to look like a raccoon. Yes. Next, we're gonna color in their body and we wanna color in the outside U shape, but leave the inside U white. Now we're almost done. We just need to switch to our black marker and we're gonna add the eyes. Let's draw a circle on the left and also over here on the right. And we're gonna color in the circles too. Then let's draw an oval shape down here for the paws. I'm gonna draw one and two right next to each other. And then we can leave a little space and then I'm gonna draw another oval over here and one over here for the back paws. Awesome, we did it. We finished coloring our raccoons. Yours is my favorite. I love how it turned out. Thank you. What else could our art friends do to their drawings? Add a background. Oh, a background would be really cool, especially if you drew a whole family of raccoons. Maybe they're getting into the neighbor's trash cans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hope you have a lot of fun drawing your raccoon. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.